Hello, come with me on a walk of discovery around Burbridge, North Yorkshire, England. We're going to explore this historic coaching town and its surrounding landscape. Borough Bridge can trace its history back to the days of the Romans and the curious standing stones on the edge of the town hints at the even more distant history. The Normans developed the town on a grid system with straight roads forming three open spaces. Hall Square, where I am at the moment, sometimes called Butter Market, St. James's Square and St. Helena Square. These white cottages on Hall Square were built as fishermen's cottages and originally extended further along the banks of the River Tut before the gates of Burbridge Hall were built. This memorial is inscribed with a powerful message. In memory of the Burbridge men who gave their lives for their country in the Great War, 1914 to 1918. This monument is erected by their fellow townsmen and friends. The Lord hath done great things by them. And in World War, 1939 to 1945. Behind these gates is Burbridge Hall, a large house said to have been built in the reign of James II. Isabella Bird, explorer, missionary and author, was born here 15th of October 1831. The town was granted a royal charter for a market in 1310 by King Edward II. This is the Butter Market. This open-fronted building, dating back to the late 18th century, built to give shelter to farmers' wives on market days whilst they were selling their dairy products, hence the name. The site is now used to display locally made or locally used artifacts on loan from or donated by members of the public. The tour continues, leaving Hall Square and heading to the second of the three squares in Burr Bridge, and that's St. James's Square.
Burbridge is a town and civil parish in North Yorkshire, England. Historically part of the West Riding of Yorkshire, and in 1974 Burbridge was transferred from the West Riding to the new county of North Yorkshire. It was part of the borough of Harrogate between 1974 and 2023. Until the bypass was built in 1963, the town lay on the main A1 road between London and Edinburgh, which crosses the River Ewer. Burbridge is 16 miles from York, 11 miles from Harrogate, and 8 miles from Naysborough. On the left is the fire station. As we continue our walk, we arrived at the Library and Community Centre. This building was the National School built in 1832. Less than a mile away is the village of Alborough, once one of the most important towns in Roman Britain. Arriving at St James's Square. The square was the original site for St. James's Church, which was demolished in 1851. The fountain which stands in the centre of the square was erected on the behest of Mrs. Lawson Tancred in memory of her husband. The structure actually caps at an Ardesian well, which at one time was the only source of drinking water for the whole community. It was reputed to be the deepest well in Yorkshire. The area around the fountain is a mixture of paving stones and cobblestones. Also, there's plenty of seating. A fine weather vane. Information board. Moving to the other side of St. James's Square.
One of the oldest properties in Bow Bridge still standing is the Black Bull Inn. This one-time coaching inn for which a complete list of past innkeepers exists. The walk continues down this very thriving high street with inviting cafes, shops, pubs and restaurants. In the early 1900s, there were pubs from top to bottom of the high street, but now only the Black Bull remains. In its A-Day, the town boasted 22 inns, which served not only the drovers, but travellers by road and river. The crews of the river boats with their cargoes of lead, linen, wine, spices, etc. The town saw advancements with gas street lighting in 1860, but it wasn't until 1936 that electricity became prevalent in the area. Turn in the corner, I'm now entering Fishergate. I'm standing on the bridge over the River Tut. The bridge was built by none other than Blind Jack Metcalf in 1754. The original bridge and retaining wall sadly met their fate in the Great Flood of 1883, a defining moment in Burbridge's history. The walk has brought me to the corner of Fishergate and Horse Fair. By 1853, the town had lost seven of its 22 ends. Some disappeared completely. Others found new roles. The Three Greyhounds, originally home of the Mulliber family, has been converted into flats, but still sports the Three Greyhound crest of the Mulliber family. The post office still retains a nice pair of enamel signs above the door and to the left of the shop windows. At the corner of Fishergate and Horse Fair is the Crown Hotel. Constructed in the 1600s as a hunted lodge, the Crown Hotel and Burbridge has been an inn since 1740, playing a key role in the life of the town. This historic establishment with stapling for horses is a reminder of the time when inns were numerous in Burbridge, serving the needs of stagecoach travellers.
the walk has brought us to another historical place in Edinburgh Bridge. This blue plaque has some historical information on it. The blue plaque reads, The Battle of Bow Bridge, 1322. At the Battle of Bow Bridge, fought at the then Wooden Bridge, King Edward II's army, commanded by Sir Andrew Harlock, defeated the rebel forces of the Earl of Lancaster and Hereford. This is a bridge over the River Year. Over the years, Burr Bridge has been flooded several times, most recently in 2015. The River Year plays a significant role in the town's history, as does the story of the Battle of Burr Bridge. Flooding incidents have shaped the town's landscape and influenced its development. The year was made navigable to Ripon in 1767 by means of cuts and dams and six locks. The weir at the Bow Bridge is thought to have been built between 1767 and 1769 and the canal by the roundabout in 1770. This is a very short but attractive canal which runs parallel to the river so that crafts can navigate around the weir on the river. It's less than a mile long. There are pleasant walks along the canal to the canal locks. The weir and salmon ladder on the River Ewer is upstream of the ancient bridge. The River Ewer is an important freshwater habitat and in particularly a spawning ground for River Lampe. They can sometimes be observed from the bridge. The walk continues. Leaving the weir, we're going to cross the bridge and return back to the town centre. I'm now at the junction of Fishergate and Horsefair. At one point, more than 2,000 cattle per day passed through the town. Gypsies and horse traders journeyed through Bow Bridge too. And June saw the raucous two-week Barnby Fair takes place in the streets now called Horsefair. This wheel plate is set in the pavement outside what was once a smithy. The blacksmith's forge was located here. Thank you. 
Further along the house fair, we come to St. Helena. St. Helena Square is the third square in Bow Bridge and it leads to another hidden gem, Peggy Bridge. St. Helena crosses the River Tut. The fourth Devil's Arrow, three of which we'll see later on, was cut up and incorporated in Peggy's Bridge, which links St. Helena to St. James's Square. The walk concludes a short distance from the town centre at the Devil's Arrow. This is the tallest of the standing stones at 6.9 metres high. It is the tallest of any of the more famous stones at Stonehenge and is the second tallest of any standing stones in Britain after the Rudstone Monolith, also in Yorkshire. The Devil's Arrows consist of three huge stones that remain from the original 405 that stood in the southeast to northwest alignment, less than 200 meters from the modern A1 motorway. The Devil's Arrow is believed to date back to the late Neolithic or early Bronze Age, around 2300 BC. It's thought to have been erected as a ritual ceremonial site, although the exact purpose remains a mystery. These are the two other standing stones. Burbridge is a town where history, culture and nature converge, creating a unique tapestry of experience. We hope you've enjoyed this tour and if you have the chance to come and explore Burbridge for yourself and delve deeper into its rich and fascinating history. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the charming Yorkshire town. <laughs>